you know, I look at my car behind us, it's, it's pretty horrific. For State Trooper Mike Krakowski, getting in and out of the family minivan isn't as easy as it used to be. Right now we're in the infancy of it, you know, waiting for those bones to heal up so then I can start going through physical therapy. The crash on May 15th broke his left arm and both his feet in multiple places when another driver broke through the frontage road fencing and hit him head on. I was heading home. Just two miles away from his wife and three kids. I'm so thankful for my husband. Seeing the wreckage up close brought tears to Chrissy's eyes as she wonders what could have been. Well, after we left our house, we drove right past it. So I saw it just from a distance. I, I could feel myself starting to shake a little bit of what was going to happen tonight. Because in my mind, I had no idea how bad it really was when he called. Everyone, thank you for your uh, prayer support and uh, looking forward to getting out of the hospital. They ask that those supporting them also keep the family of the other driver in their thoughts and prayers. 29-year-old Wesley Briggs died days after the crash. Why it happened is still unknown. This case is a shining example of why seatbelt use is just critical. Over the last five years, more than 1,300 people died on Minnesota roads. 33% of them weren't wearing their seatbelts. Choosing to wear that seatbelt is what is one of the big reasons why, I, why I'm here still. A little bruised and banged up, Sergeant Krakowski says, but still able to care for his family and eventually get back to doing what he loves, protecting Minnesota drivers. First words out of my mouth that crash happened was, thank you, God. There's no other reason why I'm here. Gordon Severson, Carol Evan News.